This is Black History Month, and throughout February, NJ Business Beat will be bringing you stories of successful black entrepreneurs and business leaders in the Garden State. The first person we'd like you to get to know is Lisa Ascalis of Ocean County. She calls herself the inventress. She's made a career of inventing various products and selling them on television shopping networks. Her path wasn't easy, and that's why she launched her own nonprofit to help female entrepreneurs and investors in underserved communities. We chatted earlier this week. Lisa, thanks so much for joining me today on NJ Business Beat. Thank you for having me, Mahanda. Just I'm looking forward to it. So I'm so intrigued by your story. How does one become an inventor? For me, I didn't become an inventor. I think it's just in my DNA. I, I think I was an inventor at birth. Every single issue I see around me, problem, product, I fix and I redesign and I recreate. And I've done that since I was about nine years old. So I think some people have it, just have that, whether you're an artist, or, you know, an artist who draws or takes uh, pictures, photography. I think you're born with it, honestly. And I believe I was born to be an inventor. Well, you weren't only born with that. You were also born with the need to help others. And one thing that you do is bring women inventors, entrepreneurs, and try to help them and guide them. Why is it important for you to give back in this way? And how did your own experiences shape your philosophy on that? So Rhonda, my goal is to see every single client I have succeed in my business. So the business first is inventing A to Z, where I help people develop products from a napkin idea all the way to the marketplace. Um, from that spun off uh, my nonprofit called AOE, the Association of Women Inventors and Entrepreneurs, um, where I help women, many men also, uh, come up and speak on stage. I have conferences twice a year, come up, come to the conferences, speak and talk about their experiences. My experience in inventing and developing products was not an easy one. My journey was not easy. And I vowed that when I became successful at developing products, I would teach other people to do the same. Um, and by doing it in a broader sense, I, I started the conferences where I could bring more people in to showcase and uh, share their experiences. Uh, so as I said, my goal is to see all people succeed. I'm not here for myself. I don't believe any of us are. I think we're supposed to give and give back. Lisa, you say your journey wasn't easy. What were some of the roadblocks that you encountered? One of my first inventions was a breastfeeding cape, a nursing cape. I was very young when I had my first child and was very embarrassed to nurse in public. So I had to create and develop this product. I had to. And um, was very, very driven and motivated to get it manufactured and um, out to the general public because I said, if I'm having this embarrassment issue, other women like myself are going through the same thing. And even through that, I mean, just finding a path and a journey to, to get my products manufactured into the market was a real challenge. So again, you know, when I found um, my, my, my legs and the way to, to walk through this journey, I, I, I said I have to help other people because I know how hard it is. Did you face any hurdles in your view because you're a woman or a black woman or was it really just it's a hard process and you were trying to navigate it? Being a woman, a black woman, when I started, yes, I found it, that there was a little bit of a pushback uh, in meetings, et cetera. I would, I would have corporate meetings and, um, and not necessarily taken seriously. Uh, so I had to push through that as well. When I realized uh, that there was pushback against who I was, not personally, I knew that I had to work harder, work harder and push harder to, to get to where I am today. Well, you definitely have had a lot of success and I'm so happy you spent some time with me to talk about it. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time today, Rhonda. It was a pleasure. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.